Hello there, this is Dave Allen for Video Magical Land for Mac 20 Questions and today I want to have a look at making something spin using motion. As you can see here I've got a spinning thing on the end of my YouTube thing here which is the subscribe button so let me just show you that there. And now, and don't forget that you can also subscribe. Talk to you again soon, bye bye now. And it spins quite nicely doesn't it? Okay, so uh, I did have one spinning before, but it didn't look the best, so I actually made a new one, and I've done it a better way. So let's go and have a look in motion and see how we create one of these spinning things. So we're going to go to this here with a motion project, and we're going to just click on open, and that's what we need to do to get started. So here we are in motion. First thing to do is to go to our library, and I need to find a file. And the file I want is called subscribe video, so I'm going to drag that and drop that into there. Okay, so now if I press play with that, nothing happens. I need to add a camera to this, so let's go to object and click on new camera. So we've got a new camera in there, and now we're going to go to library, and we're going to add a sweep to this here. So let's put a sweep to the camera. So let's go to the inspector and go to the behaviors. And the first thing to do is to change this to 360, so we get a full turn on this here. So we've got 360, now let's press play on that, and we should get our spinning. Except it's spinning that way round. We don't really want it to spin that way round, do we? We want to spin it top to bottom. So let's just change that from swivel Y to tilt X. So if we press play now, you'll see that it rolls the way round that we want it to roll round. Except we have a problem. When it's run the wrong way round, it looks like it's just back to front. So that's no good at all, is it? So let's see what we can do to change that. Well, what we need to do is we need to add another image to our motion there. So the same thing again. Let's add it to there. Now what I've got is I've got one thing on top of the other. And if I just press play on that again, it won't look any different because they're just exactly the same as before, is on one on top of the other. What we need to do is we need to do some turning around of these things here. So I'm going to go to this thing at the top here and I'm just going to turn it. And doesn't that look weird? Okay, so if I go into the inspector now. Okay, so now what we need to do, we need to change the position of that. So the position of it needs to be moved using this Z position. So let's just move this through to here so we can see how it's going to move. Just split them apart. You see that they're moving apart there, look like that. Well, we only need a small gap between the two of them. About minus two is fine. Okay, so let's press play now. So we've got subscribe the right way around on that side of the object. And we've got subscribe the right way around on that side of the object now. How about that? And you see there's a little gap there in between. That's just that's minus uh, three now. Gives it a bit more thickness, doesn't it? So we've got subscribe reading the right way around there. And we've got subscribe reading the right way around there. So we can stop that, and then what we can do is we can export that out. So we're going to do... Uh, OK, going to go to Share. I'm going to share this as Export Movie. And export, same as source, everything OK, video and audio, there's no audio, so let's just do video only. And we'll click on next. We'll just call it spinning, just so we can differentiate it. Let's click on save. OK, so we've got that spinning one spun out. OK, so now what we're going to do with Untitled, we're going to see if we can bring that movie in there we just made. So we we'll go to the file browser, and movies, and spinning.mov. That's the one to bring in. Let's grab that and drag it and drop it in here and put it in uh, the project just there. So now it's on top of everything else. Press play. So now it's working. Look, we've got our spinner spinning. Lovely. Here's our spinner again. And this what we'll do this time is we're going to change the details for this here. Let's go to the inspector. Let's change this from 360 to 720, so it goes around twice. Press enter, press play. There you go, so you've got a faster spin on it now. Now also what you can do is change it from a constant spin to an ease in. So when you've got an ease in there, at the beginning it'll go a little bit slower to start with and then it'll speed up afterwards. Or we could do an ease in and ease out. So we've got an ease in and ease out there. So the middle part of it, it goes faster, 
and then towards the end it slows down and comes to a halt. So I'm going to drag that and drop that in. Okay, so we've got two different spinners there now. We've got a fast one and a slow one. Let's just play that and we'll see how the difference is between the two. That one spins around twice as fast as the one underneath it. So this is Dave Allen for Video Magical and for No Stylus, and I've just shown you how to do things with 3D in motion, spinning objects. And uh, it's not too difficult, so have a play with it and see what you can do. Bye bye now, talk to you again soon. Thanks for watching the video and why don't you check out the other videos, here's two of them. There's one video there and one video there that you can click on and go and have a look at now. And don't forget that you can also subscribe. Talk to you again soon, bye bye now.